Good day and welcome to Connect, our daily meditation where we connect to God, each other and our own inner selves. Now we read in the Bible that it is good to meditate on the Word of God. So find a comfortable place and inhale slowly, breathe in peace, exhale, drive out anxiety, worries, stress and fear. Now, Bible reading today is out of Philippians 1, verse 19, and I read out of the New King James Version. For I know that this will turn out for my deliverance through your prayer and the supply of the Spirit of Jesus Christ. Now, the story is told of a young lad many, many moons ago, who one day was put on a train by his dad and he was sent on a journey to the home of his aunt in a big city. And as the boy entered the train, he was very worried of what might happen to him while on the train. And when he arrived at his destination as well, he was just like very worried. But he soon found that all his worrying was for nothing. No sooner had the train started than the conductor came up and spoke to him very kindly. And then the newsboy brought him apples and sweets and picture books to look at. So the time passed very quickly. And when he arrived at a big city, a taxi was at the gate to meet him and to take him home safely to, to his aunt's home. And the boy couldn't understand it. He thought it was a miracle. But as he grew older, he learned that it was his dad who had told the conductor to look after him, who gave money to the newsboy to supply his wants, and who had telegraphed ahead to a cab company to send a man to meet his boy at the train. And because his father was on the job, all his wants had been provided for. My friend, a supernatural source of power is also available to you. In our Bible reading, Paul uses the word supply, which is a very old word that literally means on behalf of the choir. And although this is a bit strange that Paul used this word, there is a story behind his selection of this word according to Renner. In Greece, thousands of years ago, there was a huge drama and choir company. And the participants put in a huge amount of time and energy and practice and money into it until it was time for the show to go on the road. But then they ran out of money. And because these people had committed all their resources to this show, it was devastating for them. It meant that the show was finished, kaput. Even before it started, it was basically the end of the road for them and their dream. And then suddenly, out of the blue, a wealthy man stepped into their situation and supported all that they needed to get back in business again. He actually gave more than they needed or knew how to spend even. It was excessively large, abundant, overflowing and overwhelming. And this is where we get the word supply in our Bible reading from, my friend. This is what the Holy Spirit wants to give to you and me. And you know, the Apostle Paul in our Bible reading did not depend on his own dwindling resources. He was depending on the generous resources of God ministered by the Holy Spirit. Now, I read about the hardworking man who, with no fault of his own, 
experienced hard times. He lost his health and all of his money. And at last, he and his family were came face to face with bankruptcy. And a rich man heard of the case and sent the distressed family $25 in an envelope. With these words attached, more to follow. After a few days, the rich friend sent another envelope of the same amount with the phrase, more to follow. And for many weeks, the broken family received a constant stream of banknotes, always with the cheering message, more to follow, until they could cope again and was back on their feet again. And so it is with God's gifts as well, my friend. God gives enough for our present needs and there is always the cheering assurance more to follow. And so basically, my friend, it means that when you feel that you're done, that you can't cope anymore, that your resources are rock bottom, or that you run on empty, and that you don't have any, even an ounce of energy left in your body, then Jesus becomes your personal provider. Jesus steps into your life, just like that wealthy man, and gives you a massive, overwhelming, generous contribution of the Holy Spirit's grace and power in order for you to carry on. So, just open your heart and ask the Holy Spirit to supply in all your needs. Please pray with me. Father God, thank you that no situation is too difficult for you and that you provide for all our needs. You are Jehovah Jireh, the God who provides. We thank you that you own it all, the cattle on a thousand hills. You created it all and hold everything in your hands. We thank you that you know our needs before we even ask, before we even come to you. You hold the provision, you have the solution. You alone can move mountains to make a way for your children. And we ask for your answer, in your timing, in your plan, to be given for every need that weighs our hearts down. Forgive us, Father, for doubting you, for worrying, and for trying so hard to work everything out on our own. Help us to trust you more. Help us in our unbelief. Empower us to walk in your light and in your power. Amen. <music>